what happens next? Yeah. Alright, you're going to take the, the, the block and you're going to use that to get rid of... Oh, and now the instructions are to take it away. Nice job. What do you think so far? This, this looks, that looks really good. Right here. On this. Welcome to the gameplay video for Abacus Finch. I'll be using math puzzlets in this video to demonstrate all of the mathematical concepts. You'll enter your name, your age, and optionally an email address. You can also choose between two different characters, both having the same exact abilities, but they look a bit different. The story in this game is that the two Abacus Finches are guarding the egg, and it gets stolen. There are four different worlds in Abacus Finch to explore, and each world has approximately 15 levels. There are over 60 levels in all. Each world is themed differently. So we start off with the basic controls, which are running left and right and jumping. I'm also collecting orbs as I go. That'll be explained a bit later. It's instructing me to place a puzzlet on the play tray, and then drag it over to the block. This destroys it. That's because the block was asking for one gem and I placed one gem on. And I'm gonna hop around, you can hop on certain enemies. I can even dig to undercover a few extra orbs. That was a checkpoint I just passed. If I die, I'll restart there. I'm now approaching the first block, which allows me to solve it on my own. So I drag one gem over and destroy it. Also hidden in each level is an egg, sometimes obvious, sometimes not so obvious. By entering the portal, I'll end the level and I'll get to see how well I did. In this case, I was awarded three stars because I collected the maximum amount of orbs in the level. And even though you don't have to collect every single orb, you have to get pretty close. I also achieved a heart, signifying that I did not take any damage or fall down any pits throughout the level and I found the hidden egg. Here's a look at the other character you can select in the game. And now onto subtraction. The block is asking for three, but there are actually five gems on there. So I'll need to use two pickaxes to take away two of those gems to equal three. And here's a look at the super feather. It allows me to jump twice so I can reach new heights. Now here, I'm actually hitting some of these sequence blocks. This is one of the easier ones in the game, but eventually the numbers are shuffled out of order, so you really have to pay attention. Now I'm going to use my double jump to get up there. I've actually miscounted the number of pickaxes I need. After a few attempts in the first world, the game will show me what I should try to do, and then I can mimic that on the play track. Alternatively, you can use the 5 multiplier on a pickaxe and then add another pickaxe to still equal 6. Now every 6 or 7 levels there will be a tower level, and the tower levels take the previous 6 levels and mix the concepts together. And now we have the jungle levels, with an interesting new block. So, in these cases, I'm actually trying to balance out the scale, so I'm going to add one gem. That balances out the scale, and it also creates a platform that I can jump on. And right next to it is the same balancing block, except it's showing me that I can actually use a pickaxe to take one off, because adding one to one side or subtracting from the other is equivalent. Here's a look at one of the boss battles in the game where you're trying to outrun the tank while collecting orbs and even snagging the egg. We're now in the snowy mountains where there's a new gameplay element added in, bombs. So as I push the bomb over, I then activate it by using a gem. So I drag that on top, and I've just cleared a path. And to first introduce the concept of counting by, well, we're going to start with six, so we place six gems on the play tray. But now, we have to place eight gems on the play tray, so adding two more. And finally, we use ten gems to get rid of the obstacle. 
And now in the fourth world, uh, we have some fun little fans that carry us up. And as this is the final world, it does get a bit more challenging. Now these blocks are pretty interesting. So they're based on the concept of counting by, but they're a little bit more difficult. First it wanted two, now four. So I do that. And now it has a question block asking me to complete the sequence. So I use six gems. And now I've reached the end of the game. Unfortunately, Terra Fractal hatched out of his egg and it's gonna take a lot of skill to defeat him.